box jumps. And three, good, good. And two, hold it up, right leg up, off the corner, now bring that knee to the elbow, then straight. In, not too much, just lift and lower your left leg, yes? I'm still working on those lean gains. Here I am at about 210 pounds at 5 foot 11. I've been working the dead pin bench press. Dead pin bench press has been effective for me, boosting my strength on the regular bench press. These are good to switch in for about four weeks and then switch back to regular bench press. So what I do is I warm up with uh, 135 for five, then 225 for three. And here I am with 275 for one, just getting the technique down. And I got 320, this is a medium intensity single. And then I went on to 350 for an all out or near all out single on a dead pin bench press. Then after this, I lower the weight down to 340 and I do about I do three singles, 340. So I think about five, overall five uh, near max singles is good on this. Doesn't have to be the same weight as long as you're above 90% of your one rep max for it to be effective. So once a week is enough for these, about five singles a week on the flat bench or the variation of the flat bench, dead pin bench press. Then the rest of the week I focus on other exercises like weighted dips, overhead pressing, seated overhead press, high inclines. I've been doing a lot of experimenting and uh, I'm in the process of putting together a, a new training system that allows one to get stronger on different exercises, not just the bench press, like the way to dip, overhead press, and how to put all these exercises together and train them all at the same time without overtraining and focus on getting stronger at all of them at the same time. And I think it could be done by combining elements of uh, conjugate training, linear training, and reverse pyramid type training without making things uh, too complicated or time consuming. I think it could be done twice a week to get the best effect in preventing injury. All right, so right here I just finished up with uh, four sets of five on the neutral grip bench. It's great for chest thickness, upper chest thickness. And now I'm moving on to the upright row going as strict as possible. Doing uh, five sets of three to five reps with 140. Trying to go strict as possible. I think the going strict on these is the best way to go. It's really uh, builds power in the shoulders and fills out the shoulders. It's overall great shoulder girdle builder. And they do work the shoulders in a way that overhead pressing doesn't, so they're good to add in. Then after this, I finished off with some uh, JM Press nose breakers. I do these, uh, you know, I aim for the nose on these. You know, JM Press, you're supposed to go for the, the neck or the mouth area. But I go, you know, I go for the nose, like a nose breaker. I do these, uh, I guess, Ted RCD style. He used to do... Uh, what do you call nose breakers with like 340 to 400 pounds these seem to work best for me the nose breakers here i'm doing a work of 200 pounds i did a four sets of five i'm working up to four sets of six then i'll add five pounds do these once a week also so that was it next workout i'm gonna rest three days and i'm gonna do uh weighted dips close grip board press and 80 degree high incline press. In between that, I've been doing my, you know, my lat workouts, back workouts, and some leg work when I can. I'll be posting more videos soon. Talk to you later.